A flat initio quantum chemistry methods are computational chemistry methods based on quantum chemistry. The term ab initio was first used in quantum chemistry by Robert Parr and co workers, including David Craig, in a semi empirical study on the excited states of benzene. The background is described by Parr. A flat initio means, from first principles, or from the beginning, implying that the only inputs into an ab initio calculation are physical constants. A flat initio quantum chemistry methods attempt to solve the electronic Schrödinger equation given the positions of the nuclei and the number of electrons in order to yield useful information such as electron densities, energies and other properties of the system. The ability to run these calculations has enabled theoretical chemists to solve a range of problems and their importance is highlighted by the awarding of the Nobel Prize to John Popple and Walter Cohn. <laughs> <laughs> Accuracy and scaling A flat initio electronic structure methods have the advantage that they can be made to converge to the exact solution, when all approximations are sufficiently small in magnitude and when the finite set of basis functions tends toward the limit of a complete set. In this case, configuration interaction, where all possible configurations are included, called full C tends to the exact non-relativistic solution of the electronic Schrödinger equation in the Born-Oppenheimer approximation. The convergence, however, is usually not monotonic, and sometimes the smallest calculation gives the best result for some properties. One needs to consider the computational cost of ab initio methods when determining whether they are appropriate for the problem at hand. When compared to much less accurate approaches, such as molecular mechanics, ab initio methods often take larger amounts of computer time, memory, and disk space, though, with modern advances in computer science and technology such considerations are becoming less of an issue. The HF method scales nominally as n4 n being a relative measure of the system size, not the number of basis functions e.g., if you double the number of electrons and the number of basis functions double the system size, the calculation will take 16 24 times as long per iteration. However, in practice it can scale closer to n3 as the program can identify zero and extremely small integrals and neglect them. Correlated calculations scale less favorably, though their accuracy is usually greater, which is the trade off one needs to consider. Second order many body perturbation theory, MBPT, too, or when the HF reference is used, Moller Plesset perturbation theory MP2 scales as N4 or N5, depending on how it is implemented. MP3 scales as N6 and coupled cluster with singles and doubles CCSD scales iteratively as N6, MP4 scales as N7 and CCSD T and CRCC 2, 3, scale iteratively as N6, with one non-iterative step which scales as N7. Density functional theory DFT methods using functionals which include Hartree-Fock exchange scale in a similar manner to Hartree-Fock but with a larger proportionality term and are thus more expensive than an equivalent Hartree-Fock calculation. DFT methods that do not include Hartree-Fock exchange can scale better than Hartree-Fock. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Linear scaling approaches. The problem of computational expense can be alleviated through simplification schemes. In the density fitting scheme, the four index integrals used to describe the interaction between electron pairs are reduced to simpler two or three index integrals, by treating the charge densities they contain in a simplified way. This reduces the scaling with respect to basis set size. Methods employing this scheme are denoted by the prefix df 
For example the density fitting MP2 is DFMP2 many authors use lower case to prevent confusion with DFT. In the local approximation, the molecular orbitals are first localized by a unitary rotation in the orbital space which leaves the reference wave function invariant, i.e., is not an approximation and subsequently interactions of distant pairs of localized orbitals are neglected in the correlation calculation. This sharply reduces the scaling with molecular size, a major problem in the treatment of biologically sized molecules. Methods employing this scheme are denoted by the prefix L, e.g. LMP2. Both schemes can be employed together, as in the DFLMP2 and DFLCCSD T0 methods. In fact, DFLMP2 calculations are faster than DF Hartree Fock calculations and thus are feasible in nearly all situations in which also DFT is. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Classes of methods. The most popular classes of ab initio electronic structure methods Hartree-Fock methods Hartree-Fock HF Restricted open shell Hartree-Fock ROHF Unrestricted Hartree-Fock UHF Topic Post Hartree-Fock methods Moller Plesset perturbation theory MPN Configuration interaction C. Coupled cluster C -C. Quadratic configuration interaction QCI. Quantum chemistry composite methods Multi-reference methods Multi-configurational self-consistent field MCSCF including CASSCF and RASSCF Multi-reference configuration interaction MRCI N-electron valence state perturbation theory NEVPT Complete active space perturbation theory CASPTN State universal multi-reference coupled cluster theory SUMRCC Topic: Methods in detail. Topic: <laughs> Hartree-Fock and post-Hartree-Fock methods. The simplest type of ab initio electronic structure calculation is the Hartree-Fock (HF) scheme, in which the instantaneous Coulombic electron-electron repulsion is not specifically taken into account. Only its average effect mean field is included in the calculation. This is a variational procedure, therefore, the obtained approximate energies, expressed in terms of the system's wave function, are always equal to or greater than the exact energy, and tend to a limiting value called the Hartree-Fock limit as the size of the basis is increased. Many types of calculations begin with a Hartree-Fock calculation and subsequently correct for electron-electron repulsion, referred to also as electronic correlation. Moller Plesset perturbation theory MPN and coupled cluster theory CC are examples of these post Hartree Fock methods. In some cases, particularly for bond breaking processes, the Hartree Fock method is inadequate and this single determinant reference function is not a good basis for post Hartree Fock methods. It is then necessary to start with a wave function that includes more than one determinant such as multi-configurational self-consistent field and methods have been developed that use these multi-determinant references for improvements. However, if one uses coupled cluster methods such as CCSDT, CCSDT, CRCC 2, 3, or CC 3, then single bond breaking using the single determinant HF reference is feasible. 
For an accurate description of double bond breaking, methods such as CCSDTQ, 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 CCSDTQ CRCC 2, 4, or CCTQ 3, 4 also make use of the single determinant HF reference, and do not require one to use multi-reference methods. Example is the bonding situation in disillin silicon hydride the same as in acetylene C2H2? A series of ab initio studies of silicon hydride is an example of how ab initio computational chemistry can predict new structures that are subsequently confirmed by experiment. They go back over 20 years, and most of the main conclusions were reached by 1995. The methods used were mostly post hartree fock particularly configuration interaction C and coupled cluster CC. Initially the question was whether disillin, silicon hydride had the same structure as ethine acetylene, C2H2. In early studies, by Binkley and Lischke and Kohler, it became clear that linear silicon hydride was a transition structure between two equivalent trans-bent structures and that the ground state was predicted to be a four-membered ring bent in a butterfly structure with hydrogen atoms bridged between the two silicon atoms. Interest then moved to look at whether structures equivalent to vinylidene C equals silicon hydride existed. This structure is predicted to be a local minimum, i.e. an isomer of silicon hydride, lying higher in energy than the ground state but below the energy of the trans-bent isomer. Then a new isomer with an unusual structure was predicted by Brenda Colgrove in Henry F. Schaefer, III's group. It requires post hartree fock methods to obtain a local minimum for this structure. It does not exist on the hartree fock energy hypersurface. The new isomer is a planar structure with one bridging hydrogen atom and one terminal hydrogen atom, cis to the bridging atom. Its energy is above the ground state but below that of the other isomers. Similar results were later obtained for germanium hydride. Aluminium hydride and have exactly the same isomers, in spite of having two electrons less than the group 14 molecules. The only difference is that the four-membered ring ground state is planar and not bent. The cis-mono-bridged and vinylidene-like isomers are present. Experimental work on these molecules is not easy, but matrix isolation spectroscopy of the products of the reaction of hydrogen atoms and silicon and aluminium surfaces has found the ground state ring structures and the cis mono bridged structures for silicon hydride and aluminium hydride. Theoretical predictions of the vibrational frequencies were crucial in understanding the experimental observations of the spectra of a mixture of compounds. This may appear to be an obscure area of chemistry, but the differences between carbon and silicon chemistry is always a lively question, as are the differences between group 13 and group 14 mainly the B and C differences. The silicon and germanium compounds were the subject of a Journal of Chemical Education article. <laughs> Valence bond methods. Valence bond VB methods are generally ab initio although some semi-empirical versions have been proposed. Current VB approaches are Generalized valence bond GVB, Modern valence bond theory MVBT. <laughs> Quantum Monte Carlo methods A method that avoids making the variational overestimation of HF in the first place is quantum Monte Carlo QMC, in its variational, diffusion, and Green's function forms. These methods work with an explicitly correlated wave function and evaluate integrals numerically using a Monte Carlo integration. Such calculations can be very time-consuming. The accuracy of QMC depends strongly on the initial guess of many-body wave functions and the form of the many-body wave function. 
One simple choice is Slater Jastrow wave function, in which the local correlations are treated with the Jastrow factor. See also Density functional theory Quantum chemistry computer programs, see columns for Hartree-Fock and post-Hartree-Fock methods <laughs>